Hi there, Paul here. 2019 almost over, so uh, Happy New Year. And also just a top tip from 2019 from me, how to add uh, tempo synced movement to literally anything. So I'm gonna use the Eric Whittaker Choir. I've got a Pitch Clash, uh, the Tutti stuff, so this is one of the Evos. I'm just gonna hold a chord down for a bit um, and just record something. Okay, so that will do. Um, let's use that for now. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab in modulation the tremolo. And I'll just play this so that you can hear what it sounds like when you first open it up. And then I'll show you a few little tricks you can do with it. Okay, so not particularly useful as it opens up, but here are a few things that you can do. So I'll show you what these controls do. The smoothing control actually removes that kind of element of swoop to it so that you get something that just hard switches from left to right. Check this out. Okay, still quite extreme. When you want to change the symmetry here, that changes how long it spends on one side or the other side. Now that again is kind of weird, but, but if we go down to the phase here and we switch that away from 180 degrees, you can see the bottom line moving. Now we've got something that's just switching on and off. So just check this out. Now I quite like that. If you wanted it to not go to absolute silence, you can just pull the depth down. Okay, so you can see there that there's lots of control. There's lots of possibilities here just within this super simple little plugin. Now, for me, the next and essential stage is to put in a delay, stereo delay, followed by a nice reverb. So I'm just gonna use the stock stereo delay uh, in the Logic bundle. Let's try and do this with just Logic plugins to make it nice and easy. And you can see that we've got a kind of, uh, Left, right, set here, a quarter note and an eighth note. So that sounds like this. Now you can hear the kind of effect of that. It's because the right delay is going twice as fast. It just dies away really quickly. So it seems to all suddenly pull over to the left hand side. So my immediate things that I change here is I put a little bit of cross feed in um, and I turn up the feedback on the right hand side. I'm also going to reduce the um, amount that the delay has to operate within in terms of its kind of frequency range. And I'm gonna change the mix so it's a little bit more audible. Check this out. Okay, so quite interesting. I don't particularly like going backwards and forwards because it just ends up in the middle. So I'm going to pull that out for this on this occasion. It, it collapses the stereo image too much for me. So check this out. And I'm also going to change these so that they are twice the length. I could do something interesting with triplets. I'll, let's play this first and then I'll show you that. Now, if I change the right hand side to quarter note triplets, it has this effect. Now, 
Now that gives me a nice kind of spin effect. So I'm gonna go for that. And then I'm gonna open up the top end just a tiny bit actually. I've been a little bit too harsh with my high cut. Could bring the low up a little bit. Let's take that bottom out. Um, and then the final thing which I'm gonna do is to put a bit of reverb on. So I'll use uh, Space Designer that we have in here. We'll go for a nice big haul there. I'm gonna change the pre-delay, give it a little bit more pre-delay. I think everything else I'm kind of happy with. Um, let's check that out. Sounding nice. Um, I'm going to actually make the pre-delay uh, something that's more precisely in the time signature. Okay, that's nice. I want to get a tiny bit more coming back on the right hand side. Um, because that's again still dying away a little bit too quickly. Right, so that's all done. Now we'll go back to this and we'll experiment with this and I'll show you a few of the more extreme uh, things that you can do. Okay, kind of interesting. Let's go for eighth notes. And you may have noticed there, as I change the phase, what, what we got is a really kind of interesting, all that's happening is that it's pulling in the sound on the right hand side, slightly before the sound on the left hand side. You can hear that if I do a more extreme version, just turn these effects off. Okay, so that's my quick tip to end 2019. Hopefully something useful in there for you. Um, it really works beautifully with anything. I wouldn't say that this is your featured sound, uh, but it might be in, depending on the context, but where I tend to use a couple of these, um, two uh, slightly set differently and maybe in different places in the stereo field work really nicely, um, is it's that kind of thing that you then fade in and out. And a, quite a good way of doing that is using the uh, modulation and the control. I'll show you that very quickly, actually. Now, the advantage of doing it like that is that you end up with uh, you know, you're not, you're, if you're not using the fader in Logic to control it, then, then you're bringing up the sound and allowing all of the effects to happen to it. And then as you bring the sound out, you can even whip the sound out really quickly. Your effects just kind of carry on sparkling. Um, so that's a really interesting way of adding kind of texture and rhythm to your tracks without um, adding a rhythmic instrument. It's just putting a couple of these little effects in. Um, setting them so that you're getting that kind of thing and then just bringing them in and out, you know, maybe at different times kind of slowly um, to get that, uh, that really nice kind of rhythmic texture and feel of pulse and movement into your track. So there we go. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you that in 24 hours, um, you are coming to the very end of the wishlist sale. It actually ends at midnight on New Year's Eve, so the very end of New Year's Eve, as we change over to New Year's Day, GMT. 
Um, and if you have forgotten to put anything in your wish list, just add it now and you can immediately get that discount. There's some incredible bargains in there. It's really, really ramped up this year, up to 65% off the bundles and uh, 40 and so in some cases, 50% off individual products. So it's a great, ta great time to uh, get a few new sounds into your toolbox. But I hope you have had a fantastic year and I hope that 2020 brings everything that you wish for and desire and lots of love to you all over the holiday season. Goodbye, see you next year.